Hey, if you're enjoying my content on From Season 2, please subscribe and also please slap a like on this video. Like goal is going to be 420. Haha, <laughs> weed. Okay, so typically what I've been doing and what I do for other series is I'll break down my favorite moments of the episode and then explain them and then sort of give a back and forth of my uh, digestion process of what I thought from the scenes, right? I try to make it like an over, open conversation. This episode, although about 23 minutes of it was filler, we had one massive event happen that sort of, well, no, not sort of, it completely changes the rest of how this series is gonna go right they figured out a way to kill these motherfuckers right so if you're watching this you've probably seen the episode basically it's kind of like look I'm, I'm gonna be honest even though we got some answers the story progressed and this was a, a, a pretty decent episode it kind of raised even more question <laughs> questions than the answer we got of like yes it's possible to kill these creatures all right so the first thing is how how in the hell how did that work all right so we saw like they're like yo uh ellis needs blood he's been stabbed speaking of which oh, i can't believe he survived that holy crap he got he got knifed in the lungs right but that's besides the point they figure out that you know boyd being his father needs to give him blood right but boyd has this blood worm disease so they're like who are we gonna give it to and then kenny who's kind of been a dick and a cunt the whole episode sort of steps up and he's like all right i'll take it i'll take it i'll do it right i think initially uh, i don't know if anybody else thought this but initially i thought boyd was gonna go look for sarah i'm like good freaking luck dude the monsters are out there it's nighttime how you gonna find sarah but no he gave it to the monsters themselves i that was definitely uh, unexpected. I was not expecting him to, uh, to to do that. To be honest, he's got some thick ass plot armor. I thought this is going to be an insane way for Harold to die. It was the actor who plays Boyd uh, for his character to die, right? And then I thought the same thing with Ellis. When Ellis uh, Cortian, I think is the actor's name, uh, when he was stabbed at the Colony House, I was like, oh man, this this is gonna be a crazy way for him to die. The writers have balls. <laughs> They're just gonna kill both of the main, two of the main characters like that, like unexpected. We like we thought that they would be killed by monsters, but did, just didn't know how, right? But instead, they killed the monster, and Ellis is alive, right? So the process of Boyd doing that was believable, yes, but also you could tell that the writers were like, "All right, we've got to give a definitive uh, answer, uh, but in a roundabout way, right?" So. <laughs> Here's what I think. I literally just finished watching the episode, right? I haven't read any rhetoric online, anything from uh, the Facebook groups that I'm a part of or the Twitter, uh, you know, Fromville threads or anything on Reddit, right? This is just my direct thought. <clears throat> the dude had a virus and he was isolated. Like the dude that gave Boyd the virus, right? He was isolated from everybody and seemingly being tortured by not the demons that go out and kill the Frumville citizens, but their bosses, the next higher up. Like he says, those monsters are just the beginning, right? So whoever was torturing him had a reason to do it. And the reason being is probably because they knew that virus that he contained would kill them, right? So it's kind of hard to uh, explain because, we, like I said, we're given even more questions than answers. But I feel like the reason why that dude who knew Boyd's wife right, was locked up and, and tortured and they sort of wouldn't let him die is because they knew that if he died, the worms would pass on to maybe the nearest thing near them. So the monsters themselves would become infected. But that's clearly what it is. So there's... Uh, you know, there was an emphasis on them running out of food this episode, so you kind of feel like that's a plot that's going to unravel uh, later on in this in this season. But for the most part, they figured out a way to kill these monsters. Now, here's the thing: <laughs> Did Boyd get rid of the disease that would kill the monsters? Like, does he no he no longer has the worms, right? If you pass it on to the monster and it killed the monster, we'll find out. I mean, when the trailer for the next episode comes out, if Boyd still has the blood worms, then he can continue to do that. But it's really interesting. Um, I feel like whatever organism that is that was inside Blood's body that was making the worms make him see the ballerina or whatever, 
it, it's all tied into something. Maybe there was uh, an original group of individuals who were able to uh, reject the monsters, right? And they came up with this form of whatever magic works for the runes, right? Uh, the talismans that keep the monsters away, that same magic is inside of the worms, and it destroys, uh, you know, these creatures. Really, when you get to this level of like, oh, a virus, a blood virus, a blood worms wiped out these monsters. If that's the case, then we're looking at something, well, more earthly uh, than, than, I, than I would think. Because I've been saying they're in a demon realm, right? They might be in one of the seven layers of hell, like limbo or something, right? But if, if they can be infected and killed... This might be some sort of massive, uh, this is something I mentioned in the first video I ever made on this, some sort of experiment by aliens. Aliens could totally be trying to figure out how far humans will go, how hard it is to break their psyche. Maybe in this series they plan on invading Earth and they want to test humans or something. Who knows, right? We don't have enough answers. But I will say that I definitely did not expect the events in this episode. Uh, I know this is a lot shorter, as I'm going to be wrapping this video up right now. I know this is a lot shorter than my usual from videos, uh, but if you want me to do a longer version, maybe like a podcast format where I talk about the episode and all the, all the events that have happened so far, maybe like something for like 30 minutes to an hour, let me know down below. If not, uh, you know, well, thank you for watching this. Uh, next episode's going to be nuts, and whenever the trailer comes out, I'll try and break that down. Uh, thank you for watching.